Hi everyone, Electro here. I'm just putting a glass tip on the electrode for the um, hang a sec, I'll just change hands on the phone. There we go. Yeah, I'm just putting a glass tip on the electrode so I can pass a fiber optic light through it. And um, and the dispersion pattern on the end of it. Excuse me while I concentrate here. Yeah, there it is. Let's see if I can focus that for you. Yeah. It looks a bit scrappy at the moment, but I'll be able to clean that up. Most of that darkness is coming from the electrode because you can see the oxidization there, but that should clean up quite nicely. Now, what that'll let me do is pass a fiber optic cable through the end there. So, like I said, I'll get a dispersion pattern through the end of it. And hopefully it should be resistant or somewhat resistant to flame because uh, the fibre optic I'm going to use is um, primarily plastic so it would melt with flame so this is what I'm doing in the meantime. I'll give it a polish and um, I'll post another video later on but that's just how I did it. Now what the glass you use has to be the same coefficient of thermal expansion as the metal you're using if you're doing this otherwise when the when everything cools down it'll crack. Now I've already already tried one with this and um, it works fine. Uh, as it is too the electrode's a bit long so I'm going to have to cut it so this was a good trial like um, I said but getting back to this the glass I used was just from a, um, a, a Pyrex company that makes labware. Uh, what I had is some um, ground um, ferrite just powder and I wanted to put it in a furnace to um, get rid of the binder just burn it out so I thought I'd put it in at 600 so I loaded my burnout furnace with the the lid off that particular jar uh, full of um, ground ferrite and I put it in the furnace and as you can see around the back there there's some ground ferrite parts but there's still heat, a lot of heat coming out of that. It's still hot, so I'm going to have to wait till it cools down to clean it up. But basically, the the lid exploded because it was too hot. And um, when I opened the furnace back up, it was just piles of glass all over the the, the bottom here. And I, um, as you can see, they're, they're all melted. That was the the lid from that. And there's the pattern of the. Uh, the board underneath it so anyway that's what I'm going to use it for I don't know if you can see through this yeah there you go so it's still visible through there so that shouldn't be too much of a problem anyway like I said I'll keep you posted on this so bye for now